Shit. Block is a huge part of it. But he's forcing me to focus on balance even though I'm throwing three strikes. It's not about the strikes, it's about the balance. So as a trainer, the way you work on balance is this kind of symmetry and like making the, the focal point being able to block at any point. Having good defense means good balance and that improves your power on offense a lot. I noticed in this drill, when I would switch my stance, I snuff myself in southpaw. So like, when I have to do two kicks on the left, I'm way too close, whereas I don't have that on my right side, which means I'm not controlling my balance on the kick. He's like, relax. <laughs> This is his whole thing. He says, yun di di. That means, like, to stand well. What he means is balance. But he's like, if you can stand well, you can throw anything off of it. It's like his neutral is standing, like he's at a bus stop. See how narrow his stance is? That's his fighting stance. Before, when I'm like, look at his stance, he has a narrow stance. He was actually pretty close to mine. He was wide because he was moving around um, to hold for the pads. But if you watch his feet, as we're doing this, that's his stance that he had and about the distance his feet are at when he's fighting. He looks like he's waiting for a bus. Like, he's just able to throw anything because he stands well. Yun Di Di. Yeah. It's like the, the smart t-shirt. <laughs> he's like, your balance sucks. <laughs> God, if he'd met me a year ago. <laughs> oh, So see how as a trainer, when he changes his angle, he's not moving away from me. Like he's just changing the angle so that I have to follow him. But that's teaching me balance as I have to like pivot and follow him. Because if you have an opponent, they're going to move off on angles. He said that he hadn't trained people in like two years because he's always doing this like celebrity movie star stuff that he sounded so tired of, like traveling around uh, to make appearances and doing commercials and movie shoots and stuff. But I'm not joking, he had had a heart attack like two months before this. This is post heart attack, Samart. What? It's invincible. You strike a lot, you bring out your weapons. But you relax between everything. Mm. So your opponent is constantly having to deal with things. And they drop. Mm. Is that what he said? So yeah. he's basically saying that by, by constantly nervous. forcing your mm. opponent to deal with things, by bringing out your weapons and, like, hitting them with lots of things, they get tired by constantly having to respond to you. But everything that you're throwing, you're throwing with relaxation and balance. So it doesn't tire you. This is actually the opposite of Diesel Noy, who's like, let your opponent bring all of their, oppo their weapons out, and that'll tire them out. <laughs> so here he's telling me that I'm the first person he's taught in two years. When there are people at the gym, he monitors everything and will like offer advice, like verbal technique. But he goes to Texas every year to uh, see Saxane, who's down there, and they do like seminars. He goes to America for two months and travels around to all these different states. He's like, we go to, we go to like Texas, Chicago, LA, like all over the place. Every year 